Hi, and welcome to Van Arnhem Vineyards. My name is Kent Van Arnhem, and I'm here with Brandon Seymour, a winemaker. And uh, how are you doing today, Brandon? Fantastic. <laughs> Good. All right, so uh, first of all, tell me a little bit about your backstory and, and how it is that you ended up here at Van Arnhem Vineyards. <clears throat> Well, I've always loved wine, and uh, I, I lived in the area, so it's uh, it's you know obviously no surprise that I decided that I wanted to do something in this. Um, I really took a liking to the science side of it, so I decided it was probably a good idea for me to go to a school that could support that need. Um, so I went to Central Washington University and went through their wine program. They've got a four-year degree, so that was pretty um, a pretty big part of my life and a pretty good start to me, you know, working in the wine industry. Well, hey, let's talk about the Cabernet. First, let's talk about kind of big picture stuff, the great Cabernet Sauvignon. Okay. So, originated from Bordeaux, uh, one of the famous five from Bordeaux. Um, it basically is planted widely all over the world, um, but really planted uh, in, in America in the last you know, 30 years a lot. Like, we've just planted it like crazy, and it's because it's, it, it is one of those grapes that just has a legacy behind it. It really it kind of speaks for itself in that, in that manner. Tell me about uh, uh, Central Washington Cabernet growing a grape here. So, um, I, I really think that the grapes here are fruitier um, than, say, more south. Reason being uh, is because we have really, really cold nights, and that's really great for good acid development in the grapes, which really attributes a lot to the um, overall flavor profile and, and the body and everything that contributes to how you're perceiving the wine. Okay, so let's uh, talk about this wine. This is a 2016 Cabernet, so it's uh, just been bottled. Uh, it'll uh, change a little bit over the next coming years or so, but what are you, uh, what are you tasting here, Brandon? So something I get a lot of cabs in this area, and more specifically cabs that use um, a toasted French oak, is tobacco. And it's like a really kind of subtle earthiness that kind of goes hand in hand with the fruitiness, and it's just, it's, it's, a, it's a fantastic um, flavor profile. And I've always, I've always really uh, valued Cabernet Sauvignon over other varietals for that reason. It's, it just has so much complexity. Um, it, it, it changes you know, from year to year so much that it's, it's just one of those grapes that's so much fun to work with. You know, um, it's so popular. It seems like everywhere you go, restaurants, it's on all the restaurant menu. I said, why, why is that? Uh, it has so much character and it really pairs with a lot of things too. Okay. So. So, uh, let's talk about this Cabernet here. This is a 2016 Cabernet that we just put in a, uh, in a bottle here. And, uh, what can you tell me about it? So, uh, something that you'll notice right off the bat uh, with Washington Cabs is that, uh, you know, we do have colder nights, so you are going to get um, higher acids in them, which is a good thing. Really, there's, like I said, there's so many different flavors that Cab can take on. That Always one of my favorite ones. That's great. Yeah. And the, the other thing that, you know, this is a 2016, so, um, you know, obviously, depending on what you're going to use the wine for, you know, some people may opt to age it, some people may opt to just drink it now with, you know, some, some red meat is really what it's great with. Some really fatty meat also would be another great thing to really kind of absorb those acids. Nice. All right. Well, thank you for uh, the conversation. Then. Of course. Cheers. Prost. <laughs>